Lee for our second day of History Miami Museum's fourth annual Culture Fest 305, a folk life festival celebrating what makes Miami, Miami. Before getting started, we invite you to use the live captioning service that we have available if you'd like by clicking the closed caption button at the bottom of the screen. My name is Vanessa Navarro Maza, and I'm the Folk Life Curator here at the History Miami Museum. And I manage the South Florida Folk Life Center, which is the museum's division dedicated to documenting, presenting, and supporting our region's traditional arts and cultural heritage. Over the weekend, you can enjoy online performances, workshops, and demonstrations with some of the city's finest traditional artists, dancers, and musicians. Be sure to check out the festival schedule on our webpage, which also includes ongoing activities for kids and adults, such as craft activities, artist videos, coloring pages, cooking recipes, and much more. I'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors at the National Endowment for the Arts and the Perez Crearte Grants Program for making Culture Fest 305 possible. During today's workshop, you can get creative with master folk artist Mieko Kubota, who will be guiding our program today. Mieko practices various Japanese traditions, including ikebana, or flower arranging, origami, paper folding, calligraphy, and the tea ceremony. A master ikebana artist with over 50 years of experience, she creates arrangements that both adhere to tradition and reflect modern sensibilities. She is the former president of the Miami chapter of Ikebana International and won the Florida Folk Heritage Award in 2010. She was also History Miami Museum's artist in residence in 2012, during which she presented on the various traditions in which she specializes. Today, Mieko will guide you through the process of creating paper origami sculptures and writing Japanese calligraphy. We will start with origami and then we'll move on to the calligraphy segment and then we'll finish off with a Q&A with Mieko. Um, so throughout the demonstration, please feel free to add any questions you have in the Q&A box and we'll get to as many as we can during the Q&A session. And to participate, you'll want to have available pieces of paper cut into squares, blank sheets of paper, and a marker. And now I will hand it over to Mieko. I can. Good afternoon. This is a nice opportunity to talk to you about Japanese traditional culture and art. It's going to be a origami and then shodo or another way it's a shuji calligraphy with brush with ink. So I can start it to the please. Um, <clears throat> Uh, talk about its origami. Its meaning of the, this Japanese word, ori is adjective from the changing to the oru is fold, okay? Paper, paper folding art. And the gami is a kami is a paper. So paper folding, uh, this is Japanese traditional art, but I don't know when it started. Probably a little less than 1,000 years. We don't know how it started. But in Japan, this is what we say to two years old baby can play with the paper instead of to eat. So. Of course, the, when you teaching or give to that uh, children or uh, age, you have to uh, supervise. And also, if you buy special paper, all those colorful papers, and then something to crispy and do not too easier. And also, if you have color, not have to be poisoned. So those are. Um, where the children play with it and start to the school, like a kindergarten, they are almost a mandatory to start to the art. So that is, a, you know, I start before I go to school. I don't know. Probably my mother or grandparents, it taught me over daily life in Japan always using the paper. Paper is kami, 
and also the same pronunciation kami is a god so we play with it or you can wrap up you know the like a wrapping paper but there is a lot of rules how to wrap how to wrap the money we do not pass into the given to the uh, money to payment to the maybe yard man or a carpenter they you they um parents hire the helper we do not give to the money to without envelope okay so if we do not envelope available before the envelope still we lapping in the paper nicely there is a way to wrapping how to wrapping the money or a gift square gift or a round even round one with the paper so that is also Japanese traditional culture, I think. So today, I hear you can see on this ta uh, table, several uh, figurines is all I made from the square paper. Okay, that is something triangle sailboat here, but you can see I just unfold see this is a square paper one side is colorful the other side is more uh, pale color or white paper and you can see that is a <coughs> there is a bird very simple holding and uh, almost just <coughs> anybody can do this way And then you can see the bird we call Mizudori. So that is maybe swan or some bird is near the water. I have here, you can see the butterfly. Also, this butterfly made by, made by square paper. All right. And then it's more of the bad one is there is a very, very small, we call this is a crane. And here is a little bit more bigger one. This is a crane. This crane is supposed to be moved like this. Way. This one. And then when uh, every child, it starts with play with the paper and especially my age is uh, I go through after the World War II. There is no toy play with. So the toy is have to you make, we have to make not the wood, not the metal, with paper. Paper is available. Especially my grandmother um, own the <clears throat> The uh, printing company and the publisher to the Osaka, um, you know, city newspaper. So we going to the grandmother's place, and there is so much size of the paper, all white or black and white paper. But we play with it. So that is my folding the paper a hobby started, and I love. Sometimes gathering, not only the square paper, it's long, long, you know, narrow paper. And also, <clears throat> this is my mother's letter. So my mother is uh, died already, um, age of 94. But this one is only one way, one week before she died, she sending me to the, <clears throat> of course, she lived in Japan, time to time coming to this way in the America to see us. But she is still writing the letter, this kind of paper. Okay, you will see, just, they cannot see that, this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So this is a 
all the fashion of the letter, letter paper, a long paper, letter paper, and it's you know, calligraphy like uh, the <coughs> semi brush. All right. The, now I made this one too for the flower, and then um, you can choose any color and any shape. I made iris. I love iris. And the iris is, you know, blue or white, or sometimes I just make into uh, make believe color of the base. So, and excuse me. It's, all right, okay, how to make it? Cup. Okay, so these are all the squares. Uh, origami it comes to square. Maybe you might be seeing to the in commercial, commercial triangle or round. But square paper is original paper, and the size is about this size. They say six inches or the hand. My hand is kind of small for the adult. But just the uh, size of the, your hand for the children is easy to using and making some fear. So right here, uh, something I, you can see here is really the piano and the piano chair also here. And then this is kimono jacket. And there is a several butterfly. And here is a, we call it kabuto, that's a helmet. And then the children, especially boys, they, uh, you know, fake fighting with the samurai and the enemy and put in this kind of paper helmet. And then, you know, usually the newspaper is rounded in there, and this is a, the one is hit the yeah, enemy, and we call it chambara. You know, they try to everybody try to be samurai, right? So that is that we play with it, and here is a, a girls is <clears throat> play with really the boy. And this is a helmet, small helmet, suit, suitable for the, this is, we call it, this is a baby, also square paper and the baby pants. And then all of a sudden, this is a boy with helmet. Okay, this is, we can do that. And then, you know, for the decorative stuff to the, you can see right here, is uh, my family made it uh, crane. And the crane I have here also, several different kind of crane, but it's, this one is, we call it move the crane for the decorative things. And then crane, paper crane, you can <clears throat> probably remember. There is a elementary, it's a, <clears throat> a textbook. Sadako's crane, a very famous story. After the uh, World War II and the uh, <clears throat> atomic bomb, it's, uh, you know, to, uh, <clears throat> they have the, in the Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and then everybody tries to do, they recover soon. So we making, and believe it's traditional or Long, long time we believe in. If you're making the crane, paper crane, 1,000 of them, the people will recover. That is a also beautiful story. Okay, all right. So I will show you to the <clears throat> uh, very easy one first, There's something like this one. All right, this is not the crane, this, this is maybe, it's something in the <clears throat> water. 
that is swan or other water, uh, no, <clears throat> water bird. And you can do kind of decorative things or you can do something to you can make into a greeting card. This is my greeting card, bird flying. And this one, snowfall. So uh, that is, it's wonderful things to play with. Okay, now I try to show you two different birds. One is, it's not so easy, but if you have patience, you can make it. And the other one, something like that, so easy. So I will try maybe a little bit more quick. <clears throat> Here. I will try to do maybe a color, maybe blue color or brown, brown color, blue color. I would try to do is here this one, brown. Okay, the blue is nice. Okay, so this is a square, little bigger, but the square is the. <clears throat> Is the what is a square? It would be the, those around the outside of the length, everything you know, same. And then <clears throat> there's the one color, and the one is you know, um, the back is white. Okay, so I was using this one to making the probably easy one, easy, most easy one. Here, easiest one, not the most. And um, uh, I can do <clears throat> maybe it's sailboat. Okay, that is when I teach uh, teaching the children. I always say imagination. I said, what is this? Everybody say paper. Everybody say. Maybe other children saying that is a triangle. Yes, it's a triangle. It's a paper, but I ask him to more, um, art, <clears throat> more artist way. Okay, in imagination. It's maybe a mountain or a hut. And then here, you know, if I say the sailboat, hmm, you ready? Yes, I will show you how to make it with a sailboat. Yeah, okay. The boat has a sail and the body. And then if you're doing two white sail and then <clears throat> bottom is <clears throat> right in the boat. So just to turn this way and hold and then fold again. So, and when you hold whatever, has to be require neatness and the patience. If it doesn't work like teacher does, you can unfold and do it again. And then someday you can do making anything you want to want to see. But here is a little bit more realistically sailboat, isn't it? Just a little bit messy here, but. <clears throat> Okay, and then, you know, usually I will making the, some animals or peoples and there, but I have here the <clears throat> shape of the people. Okay, here I can do sailboat is getting more air, wind. So I just put them like this way. And then here is, a, I made the people. It will say this is baby. No, with 
something we can put more in a pan. So this one is little boy. So little boy going to in a sailboat and then travel to the ocean to wind is coming pushing and the distance and then they're going to find out the dream adventure. So that is you can play with it. Oh she is he is out of the pen. Yeah. Okay. That is really the one thing. Okay. And the next one. Okay. So how to make <coughs> oops <laughs> sorry. Okay. Here is a I get to culture festival and here is, um, you know, <clears throat> calligraphy. But this is also a little bit too small for me, but that one is you can play with it. You can make that one head. So how you can make this one a little bigger. So there is a square paper and then <clears throat> imagine and a hat supposed to be something here. So holding the two this way, okay? But this is not a hat yet. Really, I cannot get it in, in here. So that is, I can do once more again to triangle. Okay, square is getting a triangle. One more triangle here to make into uh, what is a center. So you can do the <clears throat> exactly this side, right side to left side meet together. And you can see where is the center line, right? And then this one going to right to left, the left to right, something like this way. Okay, here, right, this. And then once more again, here, <clears throat> you go up, go up, now, you can put in something inside, maybe your head, but still it's not ready yet. So I will put here something here to my decorative wing. And then in the bottom, okay, here it is you can put your head or a doll's head. So this one without any glue. I can say that origami is basically the loop. You have the square paper and then you have to have no, um, if you have the patient and if you need it, no scissors. Okay, so no scissors and no glue. So here, without the glue, hold this way, once more guy this way. So they will stay here without the glue. But <clears throat> make sure this is stay. So before this one coming out here, and then you can do, this is the front and the back turn around in facing to the back of the hat. And then you can do this. Okay, to make sure. of this stay. So, so I'm sorry, once more thing here, I can put here. 
here and head is going to here. But make here and here, why not? So just holding, the size is holding in the world like that way. And then the bottom is still here, there. So that one is going to this way. So they stay without the glue or a scissors. And this is a hat or helmet, all right? That is, if you want a big one, you can make a big one. And this is kind of a smaller one, and little bit this one is bigger, okay. Make, um, the okay. Okay. Now, if you have patience or try to be a patient, <clears throat> little bit complicated than the hat or a bird. Okay. This is a bird also. It's crane. Pretty crane. If you're making the <clears throat> 1,000, if we're thinking about some friends or some family or somebody in the uh, outside the country suffering some um, <clears throat> sickness or some other uh, unhappy things, you can hoping they will be happy, safe. That, that's why I try to show you that crane to making that much more possible. So first I need to explain. <clears throat> to making it a hat like this way. And then one small again. And another small uh, square. Okay. And then open up and then you can put this holding line and the cut line, make sure holding line in the top and the top line is coming here. And then turn around and then holding line is going to there. Okay. And then you can see like this way. And then very center, not here, right in the center, open, right here. This part may be, you know, a little confused, but that is, you know, bottom is not open and the top is open, like this. Way. Then you can do, <coughs> Next one, this is in the holding line. This is the cut line, right? So here you can do this way. Just like a door, like this way, right? And then turn in the back, same thing we do here and here and then open up here here like this all right and then just a minute This is a little complicated. When you open like this open, right? So it's open, you have already line here. So this is also a little bit to my trick. Difficult, but you can make that way. Once more again, here, you did it, right? And then here, probably this is the hill. The top, just making line, and then again, go back. And then open right here, 
Okay, so already there is a holding line here. So you can do following the, the other one, the other side. Okay, you can make this. Now you correct, you doing the right things or not is for the crane, they have a crane has wing and the long neck and head. And the other side is a tail. All right, so this is, you can see it. Okay, they have a wing and the body, triangle body right in the middle. And the both side is a wing. And one is here going to be the head. The other one here is a tail. And the center is a body. So let's make this one. So easy one from here right away. You can open here. Okay. And then take this one out. And then Maybe the other way is easier, I will show you. This one, you have this one. This is a wing, right? And this is going to be a neck. This is a tail, all right? So this is, I just changed my mind to the easy one. This is how skinny the neck, how skinny the tail. But this one, little bit skipping that small detail. Just right away, this one going to this, all right, to neck, and this one is going to here, it's a tail, all right? And so it's neck and then beak of head and the beak is gonna be this one. So go open, this is a little bit more complicated, so see it. This one, first you can do like this way. Already look like, look like head and beak for the um, bird. But this one, you can do <clears throat> inside. Okay, and then like this way. And then here. And then this one is a tail, okay? So this one going to inside this way, okay? And then follow the one previous hold here. You can head and what, you know, the neck, and then this is for the head. Okay, <clears throat> this way. And then this one is a tail. So tail also try to eat from the tail right now outside, right? Try to from the inside. Okay, here. And going to wait. Okay. First, this one, first step this way. Instead of outside, put from the inside tail coming, all right? So this is most easy way, the <clears throat> grain, all right, right? But you can see this one is much more skinny, right? So I, I will do it here. Here. Mm. 
here. Before do everything, you can do here to skin here. Okay. Here, more skinny. And this one also, unfold it and then to make the half like this way. I hope you are not confusing, but might be confused first time. So, tail skinnier than before, and but the neck is skinnier than before. So almost done. All you have to do, head, okay? Head also, put it here, but better to have inside. From the inside, like this. And this one also, this one is already done. Okay, so <clears throat> now it's a wing down. Okay, that's great. All right, so we can go into the calligraphy. All right, just take everything out. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, calligraphy. So just thank you for that. All right, calligraphy also, Japanese languages. If we are talking about the languages, it's so complicated. But anyway, calligraphy, we are now Japanese, you never know, you never see the machine for the typewriting, big like this table, and lots of skinny drawer. All the letter is like a thumb made out of metal, everything. You have to assorting which data you wanna use it. Picking up with the printer and then set up. That is Japanese uh, typewriter. It's typewriter so big. So anyway, right now we do not using. They you have the uh, <clears throat> instead you have the much much easier one. So, but <clears throat> okay. So it's handwriting, right? most traditional way, handwriting. So you have to know the uh, letter. There is a three different letter. It's katakana, okay? And the hiragana and the kanji. Three letters, it have to be mastered it, more than 1,000. That is Japanese student, I'm very sorry. That is the one, that is the uh, <clears throat> Japanese letters. And before handwriting master, you have to know. Otherwise you can see that. Okay, now I'm, go I'm going to the calligraphy. So traditional way, still I am using, this is a, we call it well, okay. This is a little shallow area and very flat. So we said that this one is water one and this one is a land, okay? This is, we call it is a riku and here is the umi or water. So we put in the water. Usually you don't need the water. So this is a traditional water, right? and put in the water and put here. But I borrow this one, it's so cute things here. I have a little bit of water. And put the water, we call it well, well area. This is the well area. And then, now, this is sumi block or sumi ink, okay? And you can you buy like this way, this is a very, a kind of expensive one, but it's 
I do not like the color, even black. The color, shinier or dull or grayish and black, black, it's all different. But I'm using, I like this one already. <clears throat> it's, I dropped somewhere. And so this is like cut, but still I can use this one. I like this one much, much better than the other one. So this is a water well, and this is a land. So just a little bit of water coming, and then you can do this part. You're thinking such a boring, but this is a preparation of calligraphy. When you do the calligraphy, there is no eraser. You cannot erase, so, and you cannot hurry. So now is we making the ink. All right, so that is another thing. You have to do meditation. Meditation is maybe in a temple, the Buddhist, they, they want to the Buddhist, uh, you know, <clears throat> they are long time meditation, do nothing, just sit down, right? And then meditate. That is the one of the uh, very uh, strict <clears throat> training. But this is also training. You like this way. And then what happened is this one is very rough in, but you have to do slowly, slowly, round or straight, doesn't matter, but taking a time to preparation and then to making an ink. And then if you're doing to the more uh, <clears throat> long time, you can get nice dark ink. And the Sumati Hari is not. So how much time we have? Five minutes, okay. So maybe the ink is not pitch black maybe, but just how I can do, make an ink and how you can write, I will do that. Okay. Okay, by the way, I made handmade <clears throat> card and you can do that, put him here. Okay, I just think wishing you happy and holidays or something I just prepare. You can make your own card also. Now, okay, the ink ready. Even it's not ready, ready, but I have to done. This is brand new. Usually I using the water and more. Okay. If you want to write a big letter to here, you can to maybe first water and then like this way. Or another one, to, but I bought this one. This is for not for the Japanese calligraphy, but this one is for the uh, <clears throat> art shop using for the acrylic paint. So you can use the big one here. So let's see. <clears throat> okay. I'm using that. What can I use? Can I write it down? Okay. Now the season is autumn. If somebody knows autumn in Japanese, autumn wind, aki, okay? Aki no kaze, it's so cool, right? So that is if I can write it, this one is aki. Aki, Aki no, Kaze.
Okay. I did it to Aki no Kaze from Shibraki. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Miami and then um, Japan. Okay. All right. Aki no Kaze, I did it. Aki is autumn. No is uh, O. O F for the English. Kaze is wind. Wind of Aki. Wind of autumn, right? So you want to the Miami. Miami? Mm -hmm. Okay, Miami is has to be katakana. Because whole and languages. All right? And then let's see Japan. Japan is Japan. So Japanese, I have kanji. Nippon. Okay. And I have here, so, okay, flower. Everything, this one is a print. If it's a cursive, flower is going to this way. All right. So, um, it's fine? Okay. So, I will give you this one then here. You can put on there, there. You can see it. Okay. Okay. All right, Japan, and then center one, Miami. Miami is foreign languages. So there is a, no country, this kind of katakana. And then aki no kaze. Aki is a kanji, and no is of kaze, is um, wind, wind of autumn. And this one is flower, and this is a more printing, print. Data. But this one is cursive flower. Okay, here. All right. And is there anything else I wanted to, you want to me to show the motor time? What? History. History. Okay. History is a legacy. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I will show you very funny things, okay? Okay. This is a today they write it down. Somebody, I hate that. It's a they can see, okay? You cannot see this one. There's no meaning. I never done this two-stroke one. What is it? But this one is they made to more simplifying. So all the one I learned at the school is Deki is and the C is the same thing. This is history. Sometimes you know, ministry is uh, educational ministry. They doing too much simplifying. Even China, they using too much, taking the time and effort for the children. So uh, Jap Japan also, first grader to sixth grader. If you have thousands or thousands of the, those letters, you have to be memorized plus alphabet, right? So, but this is legacy, is history. Okay, I, I, give me that. All right, last one I want to show you. 
my name in English and in Japanese. English is there in the data. So, Mieko <clears throat> Kubota. So, I was doing to Kashi. Okay, and then Mieko Kubota, right? Okay, <clears throat> this is also, this is not, not <clears throat> I didn't do practice so but this day, Mieko Kubota. If I sign, give it to my fans here. Now, this one is saying to Japanese, so I do, do Kubota Mieko, family name first, and then Kubota, and then there's no enough room, so I'll put it here. Mieko. Okay, and then I, I will explain. <clears throat> One minute, okay? This is English one, it's Mie Kokubota. First name and a last name. Japanese is family name, and then this is a first name. And then <clears throat> each one, this one is alphabet M-I-E-K-O, uh, -E K-U-B-O-T-A. Okay, this is Kubota. Yeah, this Many, many kubota, hundreds of kubota, but it's my husband's kubota is, you know, the meaning is different kind of uh, field. And the mieko is my parents gave me when I born. And then this one is meaning. This is a beauty, blessing, child. Isn't that nice name? So that one will come. And my granddaughter right here. Her name is Hannah. Flower. She is beautiful inside and out. More we expecting inside. She is very beautiful and good, you know. So, so this is my presentation. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Is any now is a question, right? Yes, thank you so much. Ego. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I just want to let <laughs> okay. everyone in the audience know that is the video will be up on Facebook Live. So if you wanted to go back and maybe just you know try something that you missed, oh, we'll you. have it up so you can go back and, so, and take a look. But um Mieko, can you hear me? So somebody will call in. Supposed to be. Can you hear them? Can you hear no, me, no. Mieko? Can you hear me? Yeah. Hannah, maybe um, if you can hear me, maybe you can um, let her know what questions we have. Take out. Take out. Okay. Okay. So, Mieko, we do have some questions from the from the audience. Can you hear? No, still no. Hold check, on. check. Check, check. No luck. All right. Anyway. We could do our best. Maybe Hannah, if you can hear me, maybe you can relay the message. Does that work? Here, let's let's try. Um we have Thank you very okay. much. lots of preparations and coordinations. What is it? We okay. have okay. lots of preparations and coordinations. 
That's it, I think. Okay. Are we all set, you think? She can't hear me, but she couldn't hear the but you think. Still, I have to hear. This one, this one got me, right? Yeah. Check, check. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now, Mieko? Just a minute. I put the back to my earphone. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Are we good? Do you hear me? Can you hear? Yes, I can. All right, great. <laughs> um, so we do have some questions from the audience. Um, one of the questions is, are there different styles of Japanese calligraphy? Yes. Same, same, uh, yeah, same as uh, English. English is print and the cursive. And there is a three, I know the three cursive different way and probably more. Okay, perfect. You know, like you, you see, you see the newspaper or uh, like book, reading a book. Uh -huh. Right, and then um, those are like a print, more hard, you know, stroke and everything. Mm -hmm. And then I have to run to the classic, classic. I think of four different type, and then <clears throat> I would show. This is my my mother's. My mother's letter, even paper is different, right? This is mm -hmm. it, right? That is this way. And she is the okay, you can see this this doll, beautiful doll. She is probably reading of a love letter. I think that's beautiful. All right. And then writing this this one. This is my mother to telling, telling the same as probably if your mother is uh, writing a letter to you or mm -hmm. typing a letter to you. Um, are you okay? You are healthy or safe? Mm -hmm. And what's going on with you? And if your family is uh, long distance and they will mm -hmm. give you some news of where she lives. Right? So, but this one is different for the Western way. Mm. <clears throat> My mother saying to the, like this way, and then just a little bit more like that way. Oh. Like this mm. way. It's not on the table, like this way. And then this way here, just put in that area here. And also my mother do not the typewriting, but, uh, regular I would say a uh, paper is western paper and the pen and ink you know she has a beautiful fountain pen and then she can do it. but this is for her is kind of pleasure of meditations mm -hmm. so she is usually <clears throat> she is I think this one is she died 94 years old and this one She's saying some some here is when she was eighty eight. Wow! All right, so that is amazing. She what an amazing always put to have the poem like a um, little bit long poem than haiku. Mm -hmm. Give me that one. That is beautiful. Hinomoto no orakana kuchiko hitasura ni. コーンつかむ外国の庭に神を崇めと隣人への愛に行く命とけく追い深めゆく。She's poem here. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> she's saying to you are thinking about Japan, where she was living, and then please find out wonderful. <clears throat> um, excuse me. Wonderful life in the foreign foreign countries. 
So please, you are following the, uh, what they say, the guidance from the God. Mm. And then love your neighbor. And um, <clears throat> myself is, is more, you know, more getting old. I have more love to everybody and everything. So please don't worry and have a nice life. Kind of she put on the uh, <clears throat> uh, poem also. So That's beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. Following to the, this kind of letter because she love it. And also, if you can see, you can do any. This one is, you know, watercolor pen, right? Actually, yes, Mieko, we have we have some questions about about the actual the ink and the and the bristles of the mm -hmm. brush. So maybe you can, um, you know, show those a little bit up closer. Talk a little bit more about about those. Okay, the about brush. Yes, about the you were saying, you know, it's a watercolor brush, the one that you just had. So maybe you could talk a little bit about the the brushes and the ink. Uh -huh. We have some questions okay. from the audience. All right. Okay. It's ink in the ink where is here made in handmade in the stone, special stone, of course. It's a heavy and then Suzuri. It's when you have the from in Japan, third grader started to the start, you know, the education starting to the um, calligraphy. And then uh, more level when the grade is up and more different, different technique. And then, what's gonna, right. and then, <laughs> But the same thing is if you do the pen and the ink, but Japanese children have to deal with it. Pen, of course, pen. Extra education to using the, mm. not this big one, but the small one. Usually <clears throat> you can big letter using this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then, a straight line and the straight line and the line going to up those are you know almost every day i don't know in here is there in the japanese school you know uh, japanese children the parents to transfer to a different country still they have tried to run into that japanese way too because if they go back to japan Anyway, you have to be too difficult to adjust in the education mm -hmm. and especially mm -hmm. using this, uh, not only in Japan also, probably China also. Mm. They were keeping the traditional way too. So, so this one is completely so narrow one when you writing and everything before go back to the teachers, you can do that, your name. Mm -hmm. Small, small brush. Hmm. Well, thank you so much, Mieko. We're actually we're out of time. It's it's amazing the time flew. Um, thank you so much for for doing this fantastic presentation. I know this was new, doing a virtual workshop, and and I think it was wonderful. And we're so grateful for for your time and your and your expertise and yes. your knowledge. All right, thank, thank you. Give me that, that, that kind of opportunity. <laughs> All right, and also, I just want to say, uh, you know, 10, ten seconds, okay? That we're doing to not only the uh, letters, you know, the fun, the fun thing is, uh, is Okay, you can sketch. Hmm. All right, and very freely. And then, if you want to the flowers, maybe orchids.
wire rockets or something like this. And then I do not have water, maybe in here. And then you can do reduce it. Okay, here. Okay, some water side to uh, wild wild orchids growing, right? So those are also coming to. I say this Japanese culture is coming to. Of course, you have to look at the nature. It's so pretty and very big, but you can observe in your body those beauty, and then simplifying in you know, a piece of paper and then a couple of brushes you cannot put everything but you can do simplifying too hmm. and then you can create your wonderful pictures <laughs> all right you thank so you very much. much thank you so much Mieko we so, really, really appreciate your time I'm appreciated to give me a chance to talk with. Absolutely. And thank you, Hannah, and then Hannah's friends, and Mickey, my first daughter. <laughs> Did you learn to that? She was, you know, educated in the United States. So, but I try to, as much as possible, my daughter and my granddaughter, four of them. <laughs> yes. Just, just to put like a more uh, Japanese way. <laughs> yes, and I definitely wanted to give a special thank you to Hannah, Mieko's granddaughter for working behind the scenes and for helping us uh, make this happen today. And I also wanna let you all know that our next program is at 3 p.m. And it's a performance with Susana Behar of Sephardic Music and Latin American Folk Songs. It's a presentation mm -hmm. called Ladino Meets Latino. So you can check out the chat for more information and we hope to see you there. Thank you again, Mieko. Thank you.